Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Full Potential Show. I'm James Rick, and this is your number one non-boring source for personal development. Today on the line, we have Belinda Mays. She is an entrepreneur, success coach, speaker, author. She has written the book, The Success Project, The Making of a Worthy Ideal, Defying Myths and Strategies to Define and Create Your Success Plan. Today, we're going to talk about how to catap- catapult your life and business in today's economy. And Belinda's here to share that with us. And if you hang on to the very end of today's interview, I'm going to tell you how to get 24 free motivating and inspiring eBooks by authors like Napoleon Hill, James Allen, so on and so forth. Just hang on to the end. Belinda, thank you so much for being on today's Full Potential Show. Hey, James. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for reaching out. Happy to have you on and also excited to learn how to catapult my life and business in today's economy. So let's dive in. First of all, I always like to get the backstory. So tell me what inspired you to go down this track and what was your life like before you started to become the Belinda May success coach? Well, I've always been a self-motivator. So that's number one. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always been the one that really believed in myself. But you know, during life as an adult, you run into situations, you know, divorce and jobs and things of that nature that really, you know, challenge, you know, your self-confidence and your self-belief. And a few years ago, I, you know, I started following, you know, Bob Proctor and then I actually became um, one of his um, a coaches for a short period of time. And it was just through that mentorship that actually, you know, made me to decide to make the transition into being an entrepreneur coach and that that's kind of how I got started. So it, you you just always wanted to be this positive person but life throws you a couple curveballs, doesn't it? Absolutely. And, and then as a result you got more serious about this positive thinking and and empowerment stuff and then you decided to turn it into a business. Yeah, actually, I found myself always motivating and trying to, you know, uplift my family and friends when they were going through challenges. And when I found myself a victim of the of the recession a few years ago because I was an associate broker dealing with commercial real estate, I said, you know what, this is not the time to salt. This is a way to look inside and, and you know, see what I have to offer and see what I can monetize on, you know. So I took my passion. And there you go. I just hit the ground running. Now, Belinda, when you're working with friends and family, do you find it like I do that sometimes (laughs) they don't want to listen at all? (laughs) Absolutely. My own mom, my own brother, why? (laughs) I'm helping these people and you just don't want the help. (laughs) Uh, They'll take the help. It's just, you know, you're still little James and I'm still little Belinda. What do you know? So, hey, I just refer them to another friend (laughs) and then take the money from them. (laughs) Or, yeah, so, or give, you know, somebody they'll listen to say, all right, this is what you need to tell them. I can't tell them. They won't listen to me, but maybe they'll listen to you. So, yeah. All right, well, let's talk about the success project and what it means to make a worthy ideal. So, so what is the meat of this book about? Maybe the top three things that you really want to get across to people watching right now. The biggest thing is just to redefine success. You know, I came across a dictionary, I mean, another definition of success when I was in my transitional state by Earl Nightingale, which is, you know, he's probably one of the the, the first motivational quote coaches from many years ago. And he says success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. And when I really started diving into that, you know, I started to see that, you know, you can redefine success not by material possessions, but the journey that you're taking um, because it is the journey that makes up you know your success and the worthy ideal is that thing that you're following what is it that you're passionate about so it's about you know taking that that's your worthy ideal and just staying on course and progressively moving every day and there you have the title mm-hmm. you know the success project the making of a worthy ideal gotcha and so really there's two main keys here then it's the realization that it's a journey Yep. And the realization that the, the key to success is to every day progress towards that worthy ideal. Absolutely. And it's also, you know, one of the biggest keys in the book is defining success for you. You know, don't allow, you know, the life that you see someone else living or the material things that they have to define how you look at success. It's about what you deem is worthy and what you're going to go after and put all of your heart and soul and emotions into it. 
Okay, that's Belinda, good. I've got I've got a question for you then. What is your definition of success for you? For you? Well, my definition is what I'm doing is I'm very passionate about helping others, and and um, so that is my worthy ideal. Um, the passion to help others and I feel like that I'm successful at it you know if I touch one person every day and my success journey never ends I never reach a pinnacle I mean I may reach a milestone and I take a break and then you know you look up and there's another mountain to climb so my success is constantly a journey and there's so many people out here who need motivation um, and inspiration and I don't think I'll ever be done so it's constant for me Beautiful. Well, Belinda, are there any final points that you want to get across to folks that are watching or listening today that can really shake them up a little bit and give them some inspiration in their life? I think the biggest thing is right now when you look, when you turn on, cut the TV off, first of all, or, or, okay, choose, <laughs> or choose what you watch and allow into your mindset mm -hmm. um, wisely. And don't allow all of the statistic and the numbers that you hear, you know, to keep you from going after your worthy ideal. Like if your worthy ideal is to start that business, now is the time. You know, you hear them say, oh, unemployment has reached an all-time high of 10%. That is high, but think about it. 90% of people are working. 90% of people are in business. They're making money, so you can do it too. It's just to make the mental shift, mm -hmm. and it starts with, you know, getting up every day and making a commitment to yourself that, you know, you're going to feed your subconscious mind. So that's kind of, you know, that's my mission. Well, and, and that's really an important point because, first of all, what you're talking about is cut the waste. And TV offers, I, I haven't heard very many people say when I have them on the show, what do you attribute to your success? And they go, you know, it was about three hours a day of television. <laughs> and I just recommend it to everybody because that is the key. Uh, you know, it's really about programming because then subconsciously your mind is taking all of these seeds and it's starting to nurture them, good or bad seeds. I talk about Absolutely. the subconscious like it's your garden. And what you're saying is cut the seeds that are going in there that may be weeds and instead focus on the seeds that are actually going to help you realize your worthy ideal. Absolutely, because that is what you have to do. Just like a flower bed, you know, you can't just de-weed one time. You know, you de-weed and then the flowers are beautiful. And then I tell you, once it rains, you go back out there and you got those darn, I wanted to say something else, but <laughs> darn weeds again. So it's a constant thing I that you got to say. You could say damn weeds, Belinda. I think I that's a pretty, a, yeah, you can say damn. You can start up on it if you damn, want. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the end, that's how we feel about it. You know, it's those damn weeds again. We got to pull them out. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so so we've got the you know we've got the damn weeds out of our garden, and we're starting to really plant some positive seeds. Is there any other final tips you want to offer that you think can really help people make the most of the fruit that's starting to come out of their garden? Yeah, I think that you just need to you know give allow yourself to have those negative thoughts every once in a while because there are going to be stressful times, there are going to be disappointing times and you cannot maintain a positive attitude 100 percent of the time. I know I can't and I preach it. So you have to allow yourself to have those times where you know you want to cry, you want to have you know a couple of extra drinks but then get back to the, the business of de-weeding mm -hmm. um, because the, the situation is only temporary. So, so we are in a tough time right now, you know, in the economy and in the world today. That's not something that we have total control over. But what we do have control over is what we allow in and what we nurture long term as we move in our journey towards our worthy ideal. And Belinda, you've given us some great tips on focus, I think, more than anything. What to focus on, our worthy ideal and the de-weeding process. Um, Belinda Mays. You can learn more about Belinda at BelindaMays.com. And where can they get the book, The Success Project, Belinda? The Success Project is also available on my website. And one thing that I think is very critical um, that I want to share with people is that if when you purchase the book, one dollar 
of every book sale goes to a disadvantaged woman with the Dress for Success organization. I really feel that part of my success is giving back because as your hand is open to give, you're rightfully positioned to receive. So you can get the book on my website um, as well. It's on the shop tab of BelindaMays.com. Okay, and now we're going to deliver on our promise 24 mm -hmm. free motivating and inspiring ebooks by authors like Napoleon Hill, James Allen, etc. Belinda, where can they go? They can go right on the homepage of BelindaMays.com. They'll fill out a little form, and twice a month uh, for the next year, they will receive a book. Now, the thing that you have that I want people to to take hold of is you're gonna get the book. Read it. <laughs> Man, I yeah. gotta read twenty-four books. Well, my, no. Here's my thing. No, no, no I'm just, I'm, I'm voicing like that, <laughs> Belinda. I have no problem. Believe me, I'm just, you know, I'm voicing what I hear people saying. And what is your advice for for those that are saying that right now? Ten pages a day. That's all it takes. Ten pages a day. You can read ten pa pages while you're, you know, sitting trying to get your driver's license. Get up fifteen, twenty minutes earlier. You have to feed you know, your mind in order to keep it um, on a positive plane. So 10 pages a day. Read five in the morning, five in the evening. 10 pages a day. So doable. And I think that is such great advice. And even after you finish all 24 of these books, I think it's important to maintain that routine of 10 pages a day. It's been an important part of my routine Absolutely. To, to read, you know, an X number of pages a day. So that's great advice. Belinda Mays, BelindaMays.com. Belinda. Thank you so much for being on today's Full Potential show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Right. And before you go and everybody who's watching and listening right now, be sure and like the Full Potential show and subscribe so you can get more great insights by wonderful people like Belinda Mays and more freebies that you'll only find right here on the Full Potential show. All right. Thanks. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, that concludes this week's episode of The Full Potential Show, your number one non-boring source for personal development. I'm James Rick, and if you want to get more positive programming for your brain absolutely free on a weekly basis, just visit fullpotential.com. If you like The Full Potential Show, you're going to love The Full Potential Club. What would you like most as a Full Potential Club member? Be two to three times more productive? Do what you're passionate about? Have more energy? Reduce your work hours? Travel the world? Enjoy an amazing lifestyle on a frugal budget? What if you could do them all? James Rick has been there and done it in ways that few people have. For anyone serious about taking their life or business to the next level, you know you've got to do more than just watch. You've got to do. Join James Rick and other like-minded people for an incredible $10 a month at fullpotential.com slash club. Be educated. Be empowered. Be the best version of you. fullpotential.com slash club. Try it free for 30 days.